hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a basic tutorial using Final Cut Pro X there will be loads more tutorials coming um, on the more advanced outros as well as um, using iMovie if you have that so stay tuned and let's get to it okay so you start off by selecting your Final Cut Pro um, app and what you want to do is you want to create a new event so you press file new and event then you just name it whatever you want so outro and just make sure that everything is exactly how it is on this screen Now what you want to do is click the generator on the bottom right hand corner and select custom. And now you just want to drag that out to a time that suits you, for example 30 seconds if you want your outro to last 30 seconds. And the next thing that you want to do is to select a video clip that you want to put in your outro so for example if you had a previous video out then you would select your previous video For this I'm just going to use the video I made on my YouTuber tips. If you haven't checked that out then definitely make sure to do that and I will leave a link down below. So I'm going to select about 10 seconds and what you need to do is then drag it on top of your custom generator. Align it exactly the same as you did with the custom generator so that everything is the same length now what you want to do is click the transform tool which allows you to minimize your video clip and this is really good for you know allowing you to add text around your videos So if you want to customise your background you can do that by clicking the generator tool again and then just clicking colour. So here I'm just showing you all the different colours that you can use as a background but just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to keep Now what you want to do is click for the text and click basic title. Make sure it's the exact same length as both of your clips. And now what you want to do is to click that little circle on the screen so that you can drag it above your video clip. And because the title is white and you aren't able to actually see it, you have to click the face button and then change the colour so that you're able to see the text. And then, so that your text is clear, you have to then um, change the font type as well as the font size. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use champagnes and limousines, just because it sounds exotic. <laughs> but um, this actual text doesn't actually exist in the normal um, font options, so I will leave a link down below for where you can get that. 
and now what you want to do is just type in um, whatever you want to put in your outro so for example you could type click here for my previous video or subscribe for more videos anything that you feel is suitable Now I'm just adding a second layer of text which I will put underneath the video clip. So you do the same as you did with the top, you just drag that down with the little circle. Make sure that the transform tool or the transform button is always highlighted so that you're able to move your text around or your pictures around so i'm just changing the color to black now just to keep it nice and clean And now I'm just going to play it for you so that you see what it looks like. Love it. <laughs> now what you want to do is to add any of your social media um, pages. So what I tend to do is go on Google and search for an Instagram logo and you want to make sure that it's typed as Instagram PNG so that you don't get all of that white background or black background it's just the actual and then I'm going to add a Twitter logo as well Now what you want to do is import both of those images into your outro page. And then you do exactly the same as you did with your video clip and all your text. You just drag it on top of all of the layers and make sure that it's the same length. And then you just make the size smaller so that it doesn't actually cover your video clip and just put it on the side. okay so now what you want to do is add some more text and for this text you'll then be adding your um, Instagram username so for example you know my Instagram is at the official J Rose and if you are not following me 
what are you doing? <laughs> no, I'm joking. And there we have it so now all you need to do is just save it onto your desktop and you do that by clicking file share and master file and then you just title it outro and again make sure that everything looks exactly the same as um, everything that you see on the screen click next and save it onto your desktop and when it's done you will then see the symbol share successful close that and I will now play the video for you And another thing, if you actually want to have music instead of yourself speaking in the outro, what you have to do is you have to select the actual video clip of you speaking and you want to minimise the sound. So you do that by going into audio on the top right hand corner like I'm doing now and you just drag the volume... Um, button what's it <laughs> right to the end so that no sound comes out then you want to go into your music and you do that by clicking the icon on the bottom right screen and I'm just going to select a random song for you 
So all you have to do is just minimise the song clip and just cut off anything that you don't actually need and you can do that by clicking command B which is the blade tool and then just clicking backspace or delete and that will delete the rest. And there you have it guys. Thanks for watching. I'm back and I'm better. I'm better. I want you better than ever.